Hi YouTube, today I have a Samsung Galaxy A12 smartphone with a broken screen. On the top right corner it's broken as you see. And, and I got my new screen in today. Uh, I'm gonna use this screen and I'm going to replace this broken one with this new one. And I'll show you how to do it. Alright, first of all, turn off your phone and remove the SIM card tray like this one. SIM card tray removed and now we're gonna separate this back cover from the phone there is a gap right here I'm going to use my razor blade not as hard as the iPads or iPhones. You can just pry this thing up, the back cover, from its screen. If it's hard to take it off, try using use different tools. I'm just switching my tool. I'm just using a thicker prying tool now. It's coming off. All right. And there is a thin cable here, a flex cable. Take that off. And you have successfully removed your back cover. Put it away. Okay, now uh, the parts I purchased is not just a screen, actually, it's assembly. Uh, it's with the screen and the plastic frame. What we gotta do now is transferring all the components from here to this new screen. That includes the battery, logic board, cameras, and the plastic covers, and all other components like buttons, everything. I believe my new part has the buttons already installed, so I don't need to transfer the buttons. Let's get it started. I see one, two, three, four, five, six screws on the top here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws in the bottom. I'm going to start from the top here, removing all the screws that I see. And same thing goes for the bottom part. Remove all the screws that you see. Luckily, the size of the screw are the same. So it'll be a lot easier when it comes to reassembling. Okay, removed. Put it away. Okay, it just comes off. That was easy. Okay, let's disconnect all the cables that we see here. I think there is an adhesive tape running under this small logic board. So be careful when you are prying up. Don't apply too much pressure, all of a sudden, you'll break this little uh, logic board. Okay, came off. I think there is a speaker unit right here that we need to remove. Pry it up nicely. Okay, put it away. Now let's take off the main logic board here. Oh, sorry, there's a screw right here, one black screw. I need to remove this screw in order for me to remove this logic board. Okay, comes off easy without any issue. Well, I didn't have to remove these cameras, so I'll put them back. Okay, logic board removed. We have a vibration motor here. Remove, vibration motor removed. Let me compare this with my new screen to see what kind of parts we need to transfer. Let's see, all the same. 
Okay, we need to remove and transfer this uh, earpiece unit right here and the battery. Okay, earpiece unit removed. Now it is time for us to remove the battery, but this battery, there's a heavy adhesive underneath this battery, which makes you almost impossible to take it off with this plastic prying tool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply some 99% isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to apply this around the battery like this. And it'll be so much easier for me to remove the battery after a few minutes. I am slowly and gently prying up this battery because we need to use this battery again. Otherwise, you need to, if you damage it, then you have to buy a new battery and you don't want that. Okay, I was able to stick in my thin prying card and I'll just try to run this card right underneath this battery to cut through the adhesives tapes. Okay, so far so good. It's working. If you need more alcohols, try to add more. It will make the job easier. I'll add more. Because that side is really stubborn. Try to add more 99% alcohol. Yeah. Let's give it an angle like this so the alcohol flows towards that way. Okay, battery removed. Now compare these two components to see if there are any missing parts. This is the original, this is my new screen. Okay, now I don't see any missing parts from the original, so it's time for us to reassemble everything. I'll apply a little bit of adhesive for the vibration motor. Okay, installed. Earpiece unit installed and now I'll install the logic board. There was one screw that holds down the logic board right there. All right now it's time for us to install this little logic board in the bottom. Connect the cable. And connect this little blue cable on the main board. Oh, sorry, I forgot to actually install this component right here before this small logic board. I'll disconnect the cable and then pry up the small board and I'll install this component right here and then can put this thing back reconnect this small cable right here okay for the battery we need to apply some adhesive tapes Installing the battery and connect this large flex cable. Put this cover back to its place and I will reconnect the battery connector. And 
then I can put this thing back to its place. Okay, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 screws. Grab your back cover. Don't forget this uh, little cable right here. Connect it before you reassemble. And before I reassemble, I'll just do a test. I'll power it up. Yeah, turns on fine. After that, I'll do all the tests. Wi-Fi test, battery. I'm gonna install the SIM card to make a phone call as a test. And I'll test everything, touch, brightness, speakers. And after you confirm everything working fine, that means you're done. Um, if you have any questions, leave comments. I'll do my best to answer your question. Thank you for watching.